So before we can really appreciate the fossil finds, we want to talk a little bit about the difference between modern human beings and non-humans. And we're going to choose, of course, the non-human that's most similar to us, the chimpanzee. Most of you have been to zoos and watched chimpanzees and um, seen how they behave. They are very different. But I want to point out some very specific differences here so that we can get a sense of what we're looking for when we look into the fossil record. What kind of characteristics are there that alert us to various features of humanity? One of the easiest features that we can see in various different parts of the skeleton is the change from going around on four legs, which is what we find in chimpanzees, to going around on two legs, which is what we find in humans. Now, I say change, let's call that a difference. Let's not call it a change, because it's probably not a change. Well, it's certainly an anatomical difference, and there's a bunch of them. So I have here um, the thigh bone of a chimpanzee. This is the bone that you would find um, going from the hip right here down to the knee. So that is the, the thigh bone of a chip. Now, when we compare it to this uh, thigh bone of uh, a modern human being, um, they look kind of similar. Uh, I can definitely tell that I'm looking at two different thigh bones here. There's not a huge amount of striking difference happening. But there is one thing that's really important about the thigh bones that really sets apart chimpanzees. So if I take this thigh bone and I look at this knee joint right here, and I set that down on a flat surface, you can see that the bone comes straight up off that flat surface, indicating that the knee here is basically perpendicular, the angle of the knee joint is perpendicular to the shaft of the thigh bone. Cool. When we look at the human femur, the human thigh bone, things are a little different. If I set that bone down so that it is flat on the table, you can see here's the flat surface of the table, but here the shaft of the femur goes up at an angle. So as you come down from the hip here, this is angling the shaft of the femur underneath of the body. And why is that an advantage? Well, it's advantage for walking. So chimpanzees have their knees uh, straight on, uh, perpendicular to the shaft of their femur, which helps them to keep their legs far apart. And so when they walk, on all fours, it's giving them a great deal of balance. But if you keep your feet apart and try to walk, it's very awkward, right? So I can try that here. And you can see I'm really not walking. I'm, it's more like waddling. But when I put my feet right underneath of me and walk, then that's much more graceful and elegant. And that's because I'm keeping all the weight down there right on that track where I'm walking, right? and it's not being uh, tilted to one side every time I take a step, which is what's happening in the chimpanzee. So that's a really important difference that relates to the way they walk. Another big difference is the shape of this big bone here that we call the pelvis. You can see here in this uh, model human skeleton that the pelvis is nice and round in human beings. And all the guts are sitting here, right, and they're hanging down right here, and so the pelvis is providing support for those guts. Great. The pelvis of the chimpanzee is quite different, and you can see how different it is. It's essentially flat, right? So where the human pelvis is round, the chimp pelvis is flat they have a very different situation because they're generally going around on all fours, so they hang their guts this way, right? And so the support needs to be broad on top of the body, which is essentially the back, and that's 
giving them a place to hang all those intestines and such. And so that's a really huge difference that we see between chimpanzees and um, modern humans, and that's related to how they walk. Now there are other really big differences here in the chimpanzee skull. And you might say, well, yeah, I mean, there's this big muzzle. We don't have that. There's a big eye ridge here, a brow ridge. We don't really have that much at all. Behind the eyes, there's this constriction. We call that a post-orbital constriction behind the orbit, which is where the eyes go. We don't really have that in modern humans. Big giant canine teeth. We don't really have that in modern humans. Um, but the more subtle thing that I think is more important for what we're going to talk about is the big hole. This is the big hole, Latin foramen magnum, which is basically means big hole. And this is where, of course, the brain stem comes out and goes down the spinal cord. Now here in this chimpanzee, the big hole comes out at an angle, like this, so that the chimpanzee can keep his head straight because, of course, he's walking on all fours. His back is going this way, and his arms are going straight down, and his legs are going straight down from there. And so he is, has his frame and magnum situated so that he can keep his face looking forward, which, when you're walking, is really good. Now, in human beings, the situation is quite a bit different. In human beings, the frame and magnum is essentially right here on the bottom of the skull. Here's the the uh, backbone going down, right? And it comes up, meets the skull, uh, and the skull then is sitting on top of uh, the spinal cord. And so if you're gonna watch where you're going, you're gonna need to not have your head tilted up this way and looking constantly looking at the ceiling, that would be bad. You really wanna have the skull situated so that it's looking around on the top of that spinal column. And so the position of the foramen magnum then can also tell us something about how these things walked around. Now remember, none of this tells us anything about the image of God. None of this tells us anything about whether something is, is human or not. All it tells us is these are features that are found in chimpanzees that are different than the features that are found in modern humans. That's it. So um, that is some of the differences between uh, the, the modern human skeleton and the modern chimpanzee skeleton. Now we want to have a look at some of those same features in creatures that we find in the fossil record.